Hello, Yawning Angel here with another video. This video is slightly different to the ones I usually put out. I like to think the videos I normally do inform and to some small degree entertain as well. But this video is all about a question. I'm looking for an answer to a question that I just cannot find the answer to online and nobody seems to be able to give me a complete or succinct answer. So I thought I'd make a video and put that out there so people who watch my videos and have subscribed to my channel can maybe answer the question for me. So now you know. Now I'm a great fan of the ZX Spectrum. This includes my rubber keyed 48K, my 48K Plus, my 128K Toast Rack, which I'm really pleased with, and my daily driver, which is my 128K Plus 2. Regular viewers of my channel will know that I enjoy a bit of programming now and again. I do quite a bit of programming on my Amiga and I've done a number of videos on programming in Amos on that machine. Go check them out, there's a playlist on my channel. But I also enjoy coding on the Spectrum. It is after all where my programming journey began and it would be remiss of me not to use these machines for something constructive. Now I do dabble in the occasional bit of programming on my 48k Spectrums and the programs I write on these I save out to a .tap file on the div MMC onto the SD card therein and this process is quite straightforward and we'll take a look at that in a moment. But I want to do programming on my 128k Spectrum and because of my Spectrum estate the only option I have to save out basic programs that I write on the 128 is out onto good old fashioned old school cassette tape and while this process works I'd much rather be saving programs out onto the div MMC, dumping those programs out onto an SD card, because in this day and age, why would you not want to do that? It's got to be far easier. Something quickly as a point of note, emulation is not an option. I don't want to be doing this under emulation at all. I want to be doing this on real hardware, because I've got the real hardware. Why would I not want to? And herein lies my problem. Saving 128k basic programs out onto SD card on the div MMC is not wholly possible. I believe in the past it might have been, but right now it isn't. Let me show you what I mean. Right, here we are then in front of the rubber keyed 48k Spectrum and I've got a program on the screen here. You'd have to excuse multiple cameras and stuff because screen capture and reasons, but it's the best way I can see to do it. So very quick and dirty basic program there on the screen. So if I run this, nothing too dramatic. Um, we just get a line and some beeps. Very, very simple stuff. It's not gonna win any awards for programming. But now what I wanna do is save this program out. Now, obviously I don't have a cassette tape connected to my Spectrum and as you can see there's nothing connected in here. All I've got is the div MMC. So what I'm going to do then is uh, let's see where I am on the SD card. Uh, so I am already in a directory called code. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, make a tape file to save my program out to. So I will do the tape out and we'll call this uh, line dot tap. So that's the dot tap file I'm going to save to and we will pop that uh, in there. So hopefully now when I do ls, there it is, there's my new line dot tap is there. Right, so here's my program, program still working. So now what I'm going to do is save this program. So uh, save and what should we call it? We'll call it uh, line one. Okay, we're just going to save that and now we'll do the usual start tape where we'll just do that and that should now save that off to my tap file. And what I'm going to do is reset the spectrum and we'll just load that back in to make sure that it's all worked. Okay, so uh, I've restarted. So let me quick do uh, do a quick ls. So uh, that's my root directory. So if I now do dot cd um, code, take me into that directory. Ls in there. There's my line dot tap tape file. So now if I do tape in uh, space, and this needs to be line. Oops, line dot 
tab. Okay, good. And now if I just do, because there's only one program on there, if I just do a load, it's found program line one, and there's my program. So very easy to write a program, save it to a .tap file, and load it back in, all within the realms of 48K Basic. Easy. Right, so here I am now in front of the Gray Plus 2. Uh, the div MMC is inserted, but the SD card is not inserted. Uh, that is out because otherwise I won't be able to get into uh, the 128K menu. So what I'm going to do is dive into uh, 128 Basic and quickly knock together a similar program that I had earlier. So let's do that very quickly. There we go, very, very quick, very quick program there. So now if I run this, there we go, very simple, it's all there. So my options for saving now are, I could save this out onto cassettes, uh, but I'm not gonna do that because I want to save it digitally. So what can I do? Well, I need to activate the div MMC because I can't see it from in here. So what I need to do if I push the SD card in, Obviously the div MMC boots, this is version uh, 8.9, 0 0.8.9 of XDOS running on here. And now I'm into 48K mode. Uh, obviously I don't have a program here because I had a 1 to 8K basic program that's not gonna translate across to 48K. But I've been told that if I do dot one to eight, this will get me into 1 to 8K mode. And there we have it. Look at that, 1 to 8K mode. Okay, well let's go into 1 to 8K basic. Now please, watch carefully what happens and understand why this is not a solution. Here I am in 128 Basic. Sadly, my 128K Basic program is gone, so let's start typing it again. A equals one, two, 10. There's my first line, and now I press Enter. Error, and the machine hangs and does garbage. Machine has now locked up. This is not a solution, sadly. So after all that, therein lies my problem. And my question is, how do I get to save 128K basic programs out onto a humble SD card in 2024 from a real ZX Spectrum? Does anybody know the answer to my question? If you do, drop it into the comments down below and we'll do a second video on this should a solution become apparent. Also, I'd like to add, if SD card is not the way to go, but there's another digital method that I can use, then also please let me know. If it means buying more kit or buying an extra apparatus to do that, I'm happy to do so. I just don't wanna be saving off on cassette because I don't find the process wholly reliable. And it's easier to have files in a digital format anyway. So let me know with your answers down below in the comments. Thank you.